This video is to teach you how to assemble and disassemble simple Deutsch 2P connectors. Uh, I'm going to show you the first way, which is using a, an actual Deutsch crimping tool, and probably the secondary way, which most of you will do, will be using the, um, the soldering method. So we'll go over to my bench for that. But basically, we just take a pair of wires here. Strip it back about a quarter of an inch. And this, this one I'm going to use is the plug. So the plug uses sockets. The sockets are the ones that have the little hole in them here. Okay. Put it on here. Get the crimping tool set. No, I don't. So the crimping tool gets set to a 14 pin size. And then the depth we set just by putting the, the socket inside here and then backing it off until it comes in flush right here. Let me set the lock. You can see how it just barely just sits in there. Actually, I need to move it down a little bit here. Okay, so it sits in like that. Pull it out. Grab my wire. Clip it in. Okay, that's a nice clean crimp on there. Grab my other one. Okay, now it's crimped in place. Now, to slide it in here, <coughs> I like to use silicone for everything. It's really simple. Um, make sure you've got the polarity correct, depending on what your application is. Set your polarity up, just push it in, and they'll lock, and they'll come in almost flush right here. See how they're sitting? And then there's this locking tab. This locking tab just slides down inside here. So you just put it in the position, snap it down. Now it's good. Everything's ready to go. Now if you're like me and sometimes you're not paying attention, you realize, oh crap, I've got the polarity wrong. It's not a big deal. Take a small little <coughs> screwdriver. I like to use these little jeweler style screwdrivers. Slide it in from the side. Pull the tab out. And down inside here, you'll see some locking tabs. You just, while you're pulling on the wire, you can just gently pull the tab out, and the sockets and everything will slide right back out again. And you can pull them out the back. Careful to kind of hold on to the little rubber on the back here, the seal, so you pull it out so it doesn't come with it. And then once you've kind of arranged it again, you can push it back in. It's completely reusable. You haven't damaged it at all. It's ready to go. Slide it in. Okay, that's the socket side. Now on the other side here, I'm going to do the uh, receptacle. It's pretty similar. It's just the pins and the locking mechanism are a little different. Okay. And again, I use my tool here. Come down. Here's my socket, or sorry, my receptacle. I like to just set them up like this so I helps me with my polarity. Slide it in to get it started. Disconnect it. And just push it straight through. Same thing, if you look down inside here, you'll see there's some locking tabs, and then there's this little wedge. This little wedge is sometimes a bit of a pain. What I like to do is take some long needle nose pliers here and slide it with a flat side. So here it is, here's the flat side here. Slide this down inside. And then just push it in place. And it locks in and you're done. And that's it. Now I'll also show you the alternate way. Here's an alternative way to uh, to actually installing these pins, and that is to solder it. So all I do here, I trim it back just like I was doing, and I uh, trim a little bit here and here. Take my solder, my soldering iron. Just gonna install the wire into here like so. Take my soldering iron. 
You don't have to have a fancy soldering iron. You can do this literally with a little propane torch. Just be careful you don't actually overheat it because it, these things get pretty hot pretty quick. Okay. So I've got that in there. There's a little hole in the side here. You can check and make sure that the solder penetrated all the way down. You give it a little pull. It tells you that it's ready. I even overheated a little bit there, but it looks, it's fine. It's good to go.